Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you our new product, this we called KC868-1U. So this is an ESP32 DIY board. You can install this board to your 1U size box, so that can let your older device become smart. You can use for 1U size box uh, IoT project, because you can see there are so many functions and resources, uh, LED indicates, and the menu country button, and IR extend, and the speak, and the Ethernet, and the temperature sensor, and the USB port. And also you can see there are many extend on the PCB, and the IS485 interface, and IS2C interface. So you can see so many resources can use for your DIY project. So this board also support you can write any code on Arduino IDE and use the Home Assistant by the ESP Home. So you can use this board for your home automation project very easily. Okay, let's look at some hardware details and how it works in Home Assistant. Okay, let's look at this KC868 1U PCB board. Uh, this is in front of the PCB and this is the back. You can see, also we have used the ESP32, but we can use this extended antenna uh, for this board. And let's look at the in front side firstly. You can see here is the output, eight chain output that is connected with extended relay. And this is power LED and the eight channel indicate of the relay output. And this is IR receiver, so that you can use IR remote. And this is menu country button for eight channel. So you can menu country eight channel relay output on and off. And this is the button, so this is launch button for all relay on and off. And this is speak uh, for alarm, speak voice. And this extend, and this is DS18B20 temperature sensor. So that, that can detect the board and the space uh, temperature. And this is USB uh, for download the firmware for ESP32. And this is Ethernet cable. And this two button is for GPL0 and the ESP32 reset. And here you can see that is a power socket. Uh, that is for DC 12 volt uh, for power supply. So also is removable. And this is the socket of 433 MHz RF receive module. So you can see, if you want to use remote, you just connect with this, this receive module uh, this way. So you can install this, this PCB to a box and we'll have the remote function. Okay, let's look at uh, this the back of the PCB. There are so many components. And this is an RF receiver. And here you can see that is RS485, A and B, RS485. And this is for I2C interface. You can see here, SDA, SCL, and uh, three voltage and the ground. Uh, so you can extend some I2C device. And this is the relay output in extend that uh, low level will continually turn on and the high level will the relay off so this is for relay extended wire we can see this is size of the PCB and this is the size and also we can see like this size okay you can see uh, this is the diagram and the pin defined uh, for every function on the board, you can see this is a project demo that we can install this board to a uh, when you power sequence and become this box smart. Later, I will show you how it works and the DIY progress. And also, we can see uh, this is our PCB design. This is the board, uh, the lens, and the ones. And also we can see in 3D version, so that you can see some buttons and the PCB back. And this is schematic. And mainly used by the ESP32 and external I.O. for this chip, PCF 
chips uh, extended the GPUs because the ESP32 not enough GPU to use. Also, this board is open source. You can see here. You can download this uh, schematic at here. Case eight six eight when you schematic, you can download from our website just at here software and uh, documents. So you can click. So you can see this schematic uh, or at here. And also we can see in our form, you can see this when you and click and there are some ESP32 pin define and this configuration file for ESP home using home assistant and this is Arduino demo code, source code, uh, how to use temperature sensor, how to use input, how to use IR receiver and IR send and uh, Ethernet and the relay output and IS485 communication. So there are all kinds of Arduino source code for you to use based on the when you PCB board. Okay, let's look at this power sequence. How to use our when you board and let this power sequence become smart. And you can see here that is the power. And here you can see uh, that is the power sequence. The LD indicate power and the button. And we can open this box. And here you can see the security is very easy. Uh, this is for power. This is power outlet. And this is relay. Every relay is 30 ampere. You can see every relay is 30 ampere. It's very large current. I have cut this transfer because it's only used for the AC 220 volt. But we can connect with this another power supply, the switch that will support 110 volt uh, to 220 volt. That is a range power voltage. So I have this use this 12 volts and at here. Also, you can install a switch power supply and install it here. Okay, we we'll remove this. And here you can see that is a PCB board. This is the older PCB board. So that only for LED indicate for this 8 channel relay. And this cable have connect with this uh, main board. So we can replace this small PCB board. I just remove this cable. And now we can use this one and replace this older one. So we, I have made the board almost at the same size of this board and just uh, bec become long because have some buttons and some components. So this older one, we can place on it. And here you can see I have made this cable and connect it You can see, I can connect to this one. Okay, and this cable just connect with this main board socket at here. So that is very easy because we have uh, the power supply and go to this board first day. And the other have a 12 volt and go to this board. So this board also will have the power voltage. If you don't get the power from this board, so you can see here, also have 12 volt as a terminal you can use. I'm not using this one. So only use this one. So you can see I have used this cable and connect with this, this one. Just power on. And you will see uh, this power LED is on. I have already downloaded the Arduino IDE code uh, for a demo to use this button and control this relay. So you can see, you can see, I just write this demo code for test the relay and the weather contact good. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I, I think the board have controlled this relay directly and this cable have connect correctly. And the next, I will connect the Ethernet cable and connect the USB to my Raspberry Pi and download the YAML file for Home Assistant. Okay, let's see. 
Let's look at how it works with the home assistant so that we can let this power sequence become smart. Okay, let's test with the home assistant software. You can see we have connected with the hardware and now I will connect with the network cable. So you can see I can connect with this cable at here. And also I want to use this remote and remote control my relay, eight channel relay, so that this button, this have eight button for the remote. So that we need to install the wireless receive module. So you can see here, I can just plug in this receive module so that when I press this button, the signal will send to this receive module. Okay, you can see here, now I will connect with the power supply for 12 volts. You can see the LED is on because I have already downloaded the home assistant firmware so you can see the network cable is on. Okay, let's test it. So you can see here this is our computer. Uh, this is home assistant dashboard and this is our home assistant form. You can download the YAML file. So you can see this is a photo and this you can just directly download this file and copy to home assistant the ESP home and you can create the device we call the one U so that you just copy and paste it here so you just copy and paste it here so that you can create the device on the dashboard so you can see I can see this check this you can see here really one So this is relay 1, LED indicate, and you can see I can relay 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can also turn all off and all on. So this is controlled by my mobile home or by the PC, just by the web browser. And also you can use these buttons. So you can see I can click on and off, just talking this relay on and off, on and off, on and off. So this is by this button. And now I can use this remote, so you can see. I can press this button, on, 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 and off, 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 off. So this can use by the remote. And here is the temperature sensor, DS18B20. You can see in dashboard, that is 33 centigrade. If I use my hand, finger to hold on. I have set every 5 seconds will update the temperature value. You can see the value become up. Just every 5 seconds will update. You can change the frequency date in your ESP home YAML file. So this is for detect the temperature because if you install this board on this box, uh, many uh, usually this relay will always on, so that can detect the space, the temperature sensor, whether it work well. Okay, uh, this is for turn on and turn off relay and the temperature sensor for the home assistant. So that will be very easy and this, this power sequence now is become smart. Okay, thanks for watching. So this, we have used this so now we have used this board and the country this power sequence becomes smart. Okay, this is just a demo case for DIY project. Thanks for watching.